Where'd you get? What are you gonna show me? Uh, this is made in Germany. Hmm? It's just a pinwheel. That's nice, but it was a gift, right? Yeah, and then these are Warner, but there were Borealis and they're red. I thought they were pretty. Warner's good. I should be good able to get 20 bucks for those. Not bad. Thing. Okay, very good. Um, and you didn't pay anything, right? No, they were free. Good there. Alright, uh, I got these bookends. Oh, I still have coffee. That's good. Yeah, we can get you new coffee if you want. They're numbered. I don't know who makes them. I'll just look them up. They, if these have to be worth like, I pay ten for the pair. These got to be worth fifty to put on eBay. If they're not worth fifty, I'll just take them to a flea market and sell them for whatever. I was looking at them. I was debating on buying them, and then I dropped them, but I didn't damage them. So I just decided, uh, you know what? I know the guy. I was like, oh, I'll just buy them. Because otherwise, he'll be like, I uh, broke an ear off or something. Yeah, so, ten. Yeah. No, uh, either parking in front or like super thin driveway. I mean, you could if you drive like a one of those mini cars. I'm gonna say, here's a guy that's in the driveway, and it's tight. Yeah. Yeah. They see they parked like three cars in there in the front of their house. Um, this is uh, North Bergen, right? Mm-hmm. Look at that fat squirrel. All right. Um, I bought these games. I got the Simpsons game. I'm not sure where the sells for, but I know it's more than five. Donkey Kong Country Returns, probably 15. That's been five. It's been five for Mortal Kombat 3. I think it's about 15. Uh, I spent seven for this. I think this is probably 20. Super Mario 3D Land. Uh, this could be good. Uh, I was talking to AJ. He said uh, Hit and Run does well. I just, when I saw it for five, I was like, okay, I'll just buy it. I know it's more than five. No, actually, that's this one's probably 15. This might be the better one, Simpsons game. One or the other, I don't know. Uh, but for five, I, I know I can go wrong. Uh, WWF. Uh, paid five. Probably 15 now. Uh, watch this guy. Uh, well, I'd have to... 809 3rd Avenue. Oh, okay, cool. And then this is probably the winner, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Uh, I see like a tenty looking thing. No, it's not around here. I uh, need to go to the eight. bathroom. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Uh, apparently, this is a good one. Let me see if it has the manual. It's complete. No manual with game and case. Uh, this could be worth, I think it's more than 40 but I'm not sure. And I only paid 5 bucks, so it was a good deal. All right. Um, first yard sale purchase. I just spent $8 on two bottles of poison. Uh, this one's eau de toilet and this one is eau de cologne um eight dollars sure for the two how do you tell if it's bootleg well this one's in the box that this shouldn't be bootleg i don't think they bootleg uh this stuff and it's also it's half full use it's a vintage size uh, vintage bottle um so this ought to be this is hat was half filled this ought to be like 25 or something and I don't know how much this one is, but for eight for the two, it's fine. Um, okay. Okay. I spent uh, fourteen, and I got a talking bobber. Oh, it says pull tab behind before try me. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I need to clean his chin. Eight dollars. I think he's like twenty, twenty-five. Uh, then I got two, uh, three bags of toys for two bucks each. I, straight up, this Joker ought to be worth ten. And then it's just miscellaneous toys. You know, this stuff's great for the flea market. You know, they got these little figures. Maybe I'll bring it into the store. I'll just take them to the flea market next week, probably. Cool. Yeah, this this bag is all Thomas stuff. Summer wood. Hey, you want to look? Go ahead, just grab it. Yeah, just grab it. That's what she said. All right. These are all uh, the magnetic Thomas trains, mostly. These should be worth a, a couple of bucks a piece at least. What's well, the Joker's in there, but who do you see? Oh, let me, oh, that's one of those dancing little robot things. Yeah, there he goes. Turn him around so I can see him. And what does it say? Code... Must be advertising. 
What does it say? Code Ninjas. Code Ninjas. Okay, beats me. Oh, and then these are just bigger, cheaper looking Thomas. But for $2 again. There he is. Code Ninjas. Nice. Dancing. All right. Oh, uh, actually, yeah. So this, Marie was actually looking through here. Yeah, even if I, uh, there's a, yeah, the, the Joker I knew is, should be like 10 bucks straight off. And then there's just a bunch of like stuff that should be dollars or whatever. Even if, even if I only get five. Because he's a little scuffy. Like, what do you see in there? Bring it over here so you look through. Oh, this is like one of those. Dumb wrestling rings. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Like cracked. <laughs> uh, I'll just throw it away. Anything broken, there's I'll throw away. There's some Minecraft stuff in here. That's there? cool. So a few dollars. So this is all Minecraft. Oh, okay. All right. Oh yeah, I saw a bunch of those little characters too. It's probably a Minecraft set. Yeah, That's I could definitely play sell it. school. Play school zombie. Yeah, there's a bunch of these little mini. Yeah, I see the the superheroes. That's Ant Man. Those ought to be worth dollars at least. Oh, okay. Baby Groot. Okay. All right, so I'll have fun looking through this stuff. Okay, this sale was literally ridiculous because the prices were stupid, insane cheap. I paid $11 for everything. This is no big deal. But it's good for the flea market. A dollar I paid. Um, really like this bowl for two. It's signed. And it's got uh, the paper. Terra Firma Ceramics. Mm. Maybe she knows. Um, got a bluebird of happiness. A small one. This shouldn't be worth too much. These are always signed on the bottom. By some guy. But again, eleven dollars for everything. It, it's like stupid, and I didn't, I didn't even show the best stuff yet. All right, let me switch. I'm switching glasses just so I can see better. Uh, this might be Leo Sayer. I always forget. No. I don't know. These, they call these blue birds a happiness. They're always signed. The big ones sell for more money. The little ones don't sell for that much. Uh, but it was cheap. This little perfume bottle was a quarter. We really liked it. This is fun. Uh, this is a Halloween pumpkin. It's new. But it's made out of copper and iron. It looks like copper. It's not that heavy. It's kind of nice, though. This is Hager. Nice old one. I didn't see anything wrong with it. There's a scratch on it, but that'll probably come out. A little bit of toothpaste. This is just a pretty cool bird. There's a $34 sticker on it. I don't know who made it. Marie liked it. I'm going to guess it's Mexican. This was cool. This is just a bird box. But at 50 cents, you know, even if I sell it for 5 or $10, it's a great deal. Like decorative stuff, I can sell it at a regular flea market. Um, this is probably the best thing I got. It's an old cast iron doorstep. It's definitely an older one. It's a dog urinating. It'd be nice if I if it had a maker, but I'll figure it out. It was a two dollars. Oh, I got a tape gun. I always need these. This is going in the store. It's twenty-five cents. Uh, this vase. I mean, come on. This was like twenty-five cents. I'm gonna see if I can. I mean, it's got a label on the bottom. Made. You know, I don't care where it's made. It could be made in. Yeah, okay, so it says made in China. But I don't care. It's like 25 cents. Come on. I wrap that. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is $2. It's just a painted angel. Things on the wall. I don't know if it has a lot of age, but it is all wood. It looks carved. Kind of primitive looking. Lots of paint wear. It's a mermaid with feet. Could be old. And then this was pretty cool too. What'd you get? I spent another dollar. 
Okay, this was a dollar. It's just some kind of glass pillar. It's not signed. That's made in China, I think. <clears throat> but for like, because it has quarter. a label? Yeah, quarter. These are Navajo. Uh, yeah, these are nice. And this is a good Christmas ornament. They're not too big, but oh, let me see. it's a dream catcher. But it's a Christmas ornament. Yeah, that's that's nice. I never saw a Navajo Christmas ornament. No, not yet. It's a little and scuffy, those... but looks like it's almost made out of wood. But it's signed. Yeah, I think it's made out of wood, though. <clears throat> I gotta wrap this stuff. Oh, and then there's some aluminum cups here. Let me see. How are they? they Pretty good. Seem okay. Here, let me see. I was hoping to see a label or something to see the age. But... No, nah, these are all from the same. Can I have company. that ornament? I don't want to leave it in there. I was gonna wrap it, but yes. Well, can I just have it? I'm gonna look up the name. I literally said yes. I was gonna give it to Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let me uh turn this off. Ah, oh, damn it! I filmed the wrong way. Okay. Everything at this sale was stupid cheap. I got some records, REM. I paid $40 for everything. Um, what's his name? Something Mike, George Michael Faith. Uh, Paul Simon, didn't see that, it was a little moldy. Simon and Garfunkel, Rod Stewart. Okay, uh, I got a CD, London Calling. I got the Sony Pressman. It was never open. Uh, got some Hot Wheels. And I got some um, PlayStation 2 games. Crash. Uh, Crash. GT, Spyro, Mamashu, Virtual Fighter 4, and Metal Gear Solid 2. They were just cheap. I got these two tile pictures. I'll show them in a second. We got this teapot. Uh, I'm going to have to do something. Uh, I got some hot wheels. Okay, this box... I mean, this one was messed up, but I don't care. I just took the whole box because I forgot I put everything in the box. And just Let's just do this. I'm going to put this in a way where it doesn't get damaged. But this teapot, Marie just looked it up. She says it's worth like maybe 80 bucks. It's uh, Modes de la Paris. And we've got this big bowl. No maker. But it was, again, stupid cheap, a few dollars. Right there. And I got these here. I showed the games already. Again, $40 for everything, and it includes a bag of jewelry that we got. Uh, let's see. Okay, let me just dump the Hot Wheels in here. I'm gonna have to sort all this stuff later. Actually, I'll just put the cards in here. And then Hot Wheels. It's really too much for me to go through right now, so I just gotta do it this way. This uh, Venice scene. Three panel tile. Those are good. eBay. This one's signed. Oh, I, I guess it's this one's Paris. So it must be. Oh. I didn't break it. Okay. Venice and Paris. Okay. Let's put this in here. I will show you this. Put this on here. I gotta fit this stuff in the car a little better. Okay. I got a rock crystal. A bookend looks like. Let me just slide this over. And then I just got, it's a whole box of just toys for five. I'm going to pull out a few things here and there and probably check the rest. You can see there's some of these things. Uh, wood, I don't know. But there was rescue rangers and there were turtle figures and whatever. This is stuff. As long as it's clean and not too messed up, I could do it at the flea market for uh, 50 cents to a dollar. Here's just a box. The whole box was $5. This is one of my better box. I can sell the dinosaurs for a buck or two a piece. I'm just going to get that. I'll give me something to sort through later. And this part of a Power Ranger. A little Pokemon. Okay. I need this box. And. Okay, let me just show this quick. And then this box is really moldy, so I'm gonna keep that box and have everything in here. I don't know, this is nonsense. But for five bucks, the whole box, I can sell these a buck or two. There's a Woody, which should be a dollar. This is, I just need stupid food market, like Rescue Ranger. He can be a couple of dollars, I don't care. So there, you, you get the gist of it. It's just flea market stuff. Except for that, this will be better.
Okay, here's part of, uh, I think I spent $40. What did I get on? $30? Yeah, I spent $40. You gave me back $60. Um, this is part of this, the $40. Um, these are all Las Vegas hard rock pens. This one says Veteran, limited edition. There's two Veteran. This one says uh, limited edition, too. I guess, is this a Veteran? You read it. I can't read it. Mm. Live Creek Greatness. I don't know, what do these sell for? Like 10? I don't know, different prices. They seem to, I, I tried to look up Atlantic. I couldn't do too much of a look. No, up. it's hard. But yeah, this, this is another to, better one. Uh, They're not like Disney Like the right? girly ones. Yeah. yeah. Okay. These two changers, right. you sterling. Think, oh, let me see. Okay. These two thin chains are sterling. You see they're very thin, but they're nice. Um, this, you said, goes in a gravestone? I think that goes on a gravestone. I think that's a plaque. But it wasn't robbed because it's not broken. Usually because they're glued on. Yeah. So or maybe, they're not in a frame? Maybe they made a couple of them. that guy's weird beard. Right? That's a beard. Hmm. I just thought it was weird. This is a, a sterling tea there, right? Yeah, but it has the, the baby's birth date and stuff on it. Let me see. Um... 1930. Let me see. Those don't go for much. I had one of those ones before. I know. And I had one where it wasn't filled in, the birth and stuff. Well, does it have the name or just the date? Uh, It has the name on this side, Grace. Oh, well, I guess somebody, you know, who knows. This is kind of cool. It's just an abalone sea seahorse. Nice. Um, oh, is this a museum butterfly? No, it's just, it just was a nice cloisonne. It's not marked at all. Oh, okay. That's but it was nice. a really nice close. It is a. nice. This I thought could be like a Hattie Carnegie, it's but then not. no, you know what it is? I see now. It's it's enamel. It's missing an eye. It's missing a couple of little stones. I thought it was plastic. I thought no. this was plastic. That's no. why I said that could be Hattie Carnegie. So uh, the designer, is it okay or no big deal? I don't know. They're all over the place. This is probably silver. I think that's sterling and it's old. So. Um, this is. It's just a butterfly wing that's something encased. In glass. Nice. And it's a pendant. Maybe we can go on one of those silver chains. Uh, is this a is this a sterling ring? Uh, I gotta check it. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean the jewelry's not bad. You, do you see anything? Well, these are nice. You can lot these, I guess. What is it? Oh yeah, those are nice hand painted. Those are old. Yeah, they're definitely old. You can tell by just looking at the back. Do these go for much? These go for much? I don't know. Okay. Uh, obviously, this is sterling. This is a Celtic cross. Oh, it it okay. might be That's stone, but it's old. Uh, were you looking at that ring I gave you, or did you put it in the bag? Where did you put it? I must put it in the bag. Uh, this must be sterling, right? And I'm uh, I don't know, but that's an old fur clip. Ah, that's what it is, fur clip. Nice. It's pointy. Stabby. Uh, this you said you you think is copper. Yeah, this is um sterling and the stone it looks like uh, it's like rainbow. I don't know what stone Yeah, it kinda is. looks like that watermelon revo uh, Rioli stuff. It looks like opal on the sides, fire opal. Yeah. But who's to know if it's real? Yeah, Marie said this says something in, inside but she thinks it's copper. You no, know, it said brass, I thought. I did it. Okay. It didn't go to the magnet, so that's one going magnet either. Uh, is this sterling? No. No, that's Brighton. Brighton, okay. Because if this was sterling, that would have been, like, amazing. But, yeah, it, it looks like Brighton. There's the Brighton bee. They just have, like, a bumblebee or something. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's uh, $40. I thought this fur pen was really nice. No, it's really nice. Or it's like a scarf pen. Oh, you're like 40 bucks for that alone, right? Yeah. What do you think the most the most valuable thing you just got here? Is there anything? Yeah, I know you have a bunch of $20 stuff in here. Do you think you got anything that's $40? Oh, okay. Okay. All right, let me go. All right, uh, $8 amber necklace. Kind of nice, right? I guess it goes online. 
pretty. Is it an older one? Uh, it has a screw lock. Um, um, the other two pieces it. were old. That sterling uh, uh, mirror thing. But and we, it I. It wasn't a mirror thing. There was no mirror. No, there. there was a mirror in there. There was a total. Just a polished silver. There was totally a mirror in there. It was definitely a mirror in there. Hundred percent a mirror in there. But you guys won't know. You just have to believe me. There was definitely a mirror in there. Um, it was beveled edge. It just, it just looked dull. It was kind of like in bad shape. That's why you couldn't tell. Anyway, that for eight. We passed on this uh, sterling kind of compact thing because the mirror was screwed. But the main thing, they went to 85, which I don't think was horrible. She was going like, oh, we charge retail. I'm like, I don't know. I, I thought it was kind of reasonable at, even at 85. But it was monogrammed. Monogrammed, nah. No, thank you. Anyway, that's it. Uh, $5 and $2 for snacks. I got you either cookies or Cheetos, or cookies or Cheetos, it's your choice. Are you thirsty? Because I got a soda. I still have Okay. Caffeine free. And then for five bucks, I, I bought a box of Rescue Rangers. Uh, this is just flea market stuff. Three dollars, two for five, something like that. I've had these. They, they actually, people will buy them. They'll sell, especially if you put the right backpacks on them. If I put, if I figure out the backpacks, then probably five bucks. But yeah. This is a combination of two yard sales, thirty-three dollars spent. Actually, I won't show this first. I'll show this. Um, this was ten dollars. These are, uh, are they freshwater pearls? Yes. And it's got a fourteen karat gold uh, clasp. So and for probably ten... those beads are gold also. Oh, and the, what's? Oh, I see. And the spacer beads, they're probably gold also. So. That was a pretty good buy. I actually found that from Marie. Um, and then you got this jewelry. This is a, another one where stuff. Now the lady was like, she was only two dollars for this. This is sterling, right? Yeah, and it's it's actually here. Let me show you. It's actually it's a it's a flower. You put a flower. Yeah, bud vase. So you can wear a flower. Put a little bit of water and like a rose or something. And um, here, let me see it. Yeah, that's I believe that's Victorian. Yeah, that's a nice. This is the first piece I saw. And there, it says something right there. Okay. It says sterling. Uh, you didn't take the other piece that I I saw, and it that was, was more. Oh, uh, it was broken. What's this? Is this a sterling button? I don't button? know, but it says made in France in the back. Yeah, that's actually sterling. It that's looks pretty like cool. Sterling, yeah. And it looks like some kind of bakelite. Okay. Uh, the lady threw in a pair of. I guess she didn't have the earring clasps. But these are uh, nice vintage -y. So this, no, she doesn't have the earring back. These are 14 karat gold, so she threw these in. Um, what, you, what can you tell me about that? I mean, I don't know. This could be tortoise shell. I'm not sure. Oh, you think so? Uh, if it's tortoise. No, it's plastic. Okay, good. Because if it's tortoise shell, you can't sell it. Um, these you said are Givenchy's? The earrings? The earrings with the necklace. Oh, nice. Where does it say Givenchy? Oh, I see it right on the back. So something like this could be like seventy-five to one hundred twenty-five, or or more. I don't know. Yeah, this looks like silver in here. That it's looks like etched. silver. Yeah. And it's made in France. It was only two bucks. Oh, uh, here. It's just a nice, pretty. It's an older one. The way the the way it's signed, the, the clasp that it has, and it's signed Givenchy on the clasp. So I think this is an older one, like maybe sixties. That's cool. I mean, it's not flashy. Like they like the flashy stuff, and this is this was like the second thing this I picked up. This was malachite um, and and marcasite, right? And sterling, and it's earrings with a matching pendant. Shit. Earrings with a matching pendant. Make sure make sure both of the gold earrings are in there. There. Yeah, they're in here. Okay, they're good. Yeah, that's it's very pretty. It's marcasite with uh, yeah. malachite. Very pretty. Okay, not bad. $33. And truck at that last sale. But I couldn't fit it in the car. I just got too much stuff. I mean, I probably could have, but it's all fragile stuff. I just didn't want to throw it on top of it. I got two t-shirts for a dollar instead. And this, this bag. Yeah. See, it's like a, it's a good it's a good hand truck. It's got the wide, flat bottom. Yeah, but... Uh, Six dollars for six teas. Got a number one dad tea. Peter Griffin, the family guy. Um, these I'll either wear, or I'll put them in the store. 
Here's a Texier, Texiera number 25. It's a Yankee shirt. It's funny. It's it has like built in where it looks like wear, but it's not, right? I don't think it's pulling up. I would wear that one. I don't care unless it's worth a lot of money. There's another one. I think they do that on purpose now, where they make the letters look, le uh, letters look worn. Here's a. Oh, this is this is the Stumble Inn, New York City. Get it? Stumble. I'll wear that one. That can't be worth anything. Here's just an older school Yankee shirt. Well, it's a, it's got a majestic, but it's on there. So actually, it's probably not that old. Or I just went to design. Yeah, I'll probably put that to sell. Five bucks. Here's a Homer Simpson shirt. It says, "Warning, man at work." He's about to drill a hole in his eye. Uh, and then this. This has Count Chuck? No, actually, uh, Count from Sesame Street. Then turn left. It says, count your soul sound. Count your count. Oh, count Von, count Von count. Eh, whatever. Okay. I was just telling Marie, all Switch games, except for Carnival, I didn't get that one. Because uh, I was like, who cares? Uh, but all Switch games are about 30 to 40. Um, these were only 10 apiece. Uh, I just double checked the prices. They are in here. And these are 35 and up. And 35 is like cheap, no case, no nothing. So these should be 40 each. Um, end of the day, yard sale. And I only paid 20 for the two. And I didn't ask for cheaper because, you know, I knew it was a good price. Get out of the Pokemon stuff. I don't know if he decided to just sell these at the end of the day. His parents didn't seem to care. And then I got these two birds. I think these are Duncan or Dugan. I can't know. I didn't realize, you know, I, I should just realize that the ears always get chipped off on these so but they were only four dollars for the two so this one has chipped ears chipped ear but marie said this one's okay so it's four bucks this i don't believe it's reproduction it, i mean it's worth more than four dollars so whatever uh we're just gonna cruise along now probably head to the store in a little bit and see if we find any other sales on the way to the store if not I'm going to wind up at the store. i got to call him before I get to the store, though. All right. If this is it, I am out of here. Bye.